Hey guys, it's Yvette and I am going to have a short little video on spoon flower fabric. Now I've talked about spoon flower a couple times before at least and I had a few people asking me if I would sort of do a review and talking about the different types of fabrics because if you go on to spoon flower there are so many different fabrics to choose from. Here's how Spoonflower works, um, as I understand it. I ha could have little nuances of things wrong. If I do, um, please kindly tell me down below. That would be just fine. Um, any kind of further education that I or any of us can get would be awesome if you know more than I do. So, um I have ordered from Spoonflower a little more than a handful of times and the reason why I don't order more often is because um, the fabric is pricey and I so just for that reason alone I love it but it's usually whenever I'm looking for something specific like um, if I know that Somebody I'm sewing for loves blue dogs. That's, I'm just some, something very random. And I'm having a hard time finding anything out there that is, uh, pleasing me that I think that they would like in, um, mainstream, for lack of a better term, uh, fabric collections. Okay. So the way that Spoonflower works is that designers can go in. And like you can, like anybody can go in and have their design printed on fabric and they will charge you for, I, I don't really know because honestly, I have never done it, but I'm sure they must charge you for, you know, maybe, um, screening it. I, I don't know because you would send them your design. They put it on the fabric. Um, people can buy it. You can buy it. Um, what, whatever. It depends on which fabric you choose. And seriously, guys, there are like, I don't know, 10, 15 different kinds because maybe people are using the fabric for curtains. Maybe they're using it for, um, uh, like clothing right? Apparel. Maybe they're using it for a quilt. Maybe they are going to then listen, wallpaper. They'll let you put it on wallpaper. They'll print it out. So there's all sorts of things that you can do on spoonflower.com. Um, when you are purchasing, you can go to, and like I said, you can pick wallpaper, fabric, blah, 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 you know, whatever. There's like different categories. Once you're into quilting, then it'll also um, or you'll go into, um, it'll say fabric. Then you'll go into like also a menu where you can pick what kind of fabric. Like, are you making apparel? Are you quilting? Are you, what are you doing? You click on quilting and then there will be a certain amount that you can, uh, that you can pick from, right? So I have chosen three variations of the same print so that we can kind of look at them on the different types of fabric that I think are best for and actually that even spoon flower feels are best for quilting. So um, when you get your package, you'll open it up and you'll have a nice, you know, you'll have your little receipt on the top. Um, it will come wrapped like this. And when you take it out, you will have a thank you card. And, um, you know, it's nice little thank you. Tells you um, that you must wash your fabric first. That's the thing with spoon flour. First of all, they don't do uh, pre-cuts. So there's no, you're not going to be getting like five inch squares or anything like that. The only, the smallest thing you can get is a fat quarter, which is what I ordered. And so, um, and everything must be washed before you use it. And the reason why they tell you this is because the colors are not, like guaranteed to be a hundred percent uh color fast because they get printed on and then they do not go through a washing process they just send it to you and they do give you instructions um it's on the packing slip and you can also find it on spoonflower.com slash fabric underscore care i think yes um 
And so it says, with the exception of silk, Spoonflower recommends machine washing with phosphate-free detergent on a warm or cool, delicate setting before use. Tumble dry low or line dry. Iron on the back of the printed fabric. I always iron on the back. I'm just letting you guys know. I, that's what I do. Um, using the associated fabric type setting. Some shrinkage may occur during both the printing process and then in addition during washing. Okay, so that... It, that's what we should do. Okay, so this is the design that I chose just because, I don't know, I just picked something that I thought was kind of pretty. And I know it's very funny that I picked a floral, right? But I love this watercolor floral. Okay, so this is cotton poplin. I think this is the cheapest way. That doesn't sound good. I think this is the most inexpensive way <laughs> to have it printed for quilting purposes. Okay. Um, I think this fat quarter was $10.50. Um, it is cheaper, obviously, if you buy a yard, but I didn't want to buy a yard in three different, because I think a yard is like, it depends on which fabric you pick. Honestly, they're all different priced. Um, but I think that the poplin is $10.50 for the... 1050 for the fat quarter and 1750 for the yard. I think I will double check that. I will put it down uh, on the bottom of the screen here. But again, this is cotton poplin. And I'll even give you the design number just in case you like this flower print and you want to go and get it. I will um, tell you what the design number is. You can always put that into the search bar and it'll pop it up. Okay, that's cotton poplin. This one is their um, petal signature cotton you should also be looking at um the saturation on the fabric itself the colors may be slightly different depending on um, which fabric you get it printed on again this is petal signature cotton And then the last one I got, uh, this one is Organic Cotton Sateen. And it did get printed a bit differently because you can see it's, it's obviously a bigger piece. Um, but I just got a fat quarter of each, so I'm not sure what determines that. I'm really not. But again, this is organic cotton sateen. Okay. I have not washed them yet. So what I will do is I will wash them and then um, add more to this video so that you can kind of get my opinion about things and you can also see what it looks like after it's been washed. Um, I can tell you that by feel, I would say that the cotton poplin and the petal signature cotton are very similar, but if I had to choose, I would say that the petal signature cotton is a little bit softer um, to the touch. And this argot, organic cotton sateen is very soft and nice. This is, um, I would compare this to art gallery fabrics, okay? Uh, okay, so those are my initial um, comments on the fabric. And like I said, I will come back after I wash and give them a press and let you know um, how they're feeling after that. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have washed, dried, and pressed all three of these fabric samples from Spoonflower. So you're looking at all of them, um, and I have to say that looking at the colors, I thought that there might have been a difference. I think that I 
had actually heard someone say that there might be, or I might have read it on the Spoonflower um, website itself that said that the colors can um, change depending on what type of fabric you use it on. So perhaps if you bought this particular pattern on something like Jersey Knit or something like that, that would be completely different to quilting fabric, then there might be a difference. I personally think that um, all three of them have lovely color. And so I will just point out that the fabric you see on top, now I ordered a fat quarter of each, but for some reason this one that's on top came out, came to me um, larger. And it does, um, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> That is the organic cotton sateen. That's the one on the top. That's the organic cotton sateen. Um, now this one on the bottom left, that one is the petal signature cotton. And the one on the right, that is the cotton poplin. Okay. And so I will... Uh, be sure, like I said, to give you all the exact uh, prices of each one. They, th I mean, it all varies. It depends on the size of the piece of fabric is that you are purchasing. And it depends on the fabric type that you choose. Um, the prices do change. So, I can tell you that I did do the um, test of feeling it. This um, organic cotton sateen, which you can see right there. Oops, I'm like losing my light from the way I'm doing this. The organic cotton sateen, this one is the softest one. It's really nice. It's very comparable to um, the art gallery fabrics for sure. Um, this one, which is the petal signature cotton, this feels to me... Um, yeah, I mean, these two, the cotton poplin and the petal uh, signature cotton, they feel pretty similar to me. Um, and so, I, I mean, personally, going forward, if I purchase or when I purchase, because I do love Spoonflower, I really do. Um, I also love to support um, other artisans when I can, you know, Um this is not something I would purchase on a regular basis just because their prices are a lot higher. I mean, I'd totally, you know, fess up to that. Um, but sometimes it's just you need more options depending on a specific project that you're working on. So um, I do love using Spoon Flower. And I would probably go with the organic cotton sateen going forward. And so what I might try to do also is maybe I'll try to sew with this. Um, not sure what I will do or whatever, but it feels really nice. I mean, it feels like art gallery fabric. And if I'm going to already go to the expense of purchasing from Spoonflower, then I'm just going to get, you know, the best that I can or the best that I like. So there you go. That's my, um, review, I guess you could say, for Spoonflower. I just wanted to kind of um, let you guys know what you would be getting. I do not think there is anything wrong with either the Petal Signature Cotton or the Cotton Poplin. So um, I think it feels like regular quilting cotton fabric. So I could, you know, any of these, I can definitely recommend um, without a problem. So, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, will consider going over to Spoonflower, checking out what they have, and see if there's anything you might like to use. If you have a special project going on at any point in time, either maybe for a special person's birthday or if you are um, working on a swap, which is how I found Spoonflower, um, and trying to find specific fabric for, you know, either a loved one or someone you're swapping with. So I will catch you guys in the next video. If you enjoy this type of thing, please feel free to tell all your friends about my channel. And I would really love it if you would uh, subscribe 
and hit that bell so that you know all the videos that I put up. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.